thing. So then the onus then uh, shifts, well, it's not the onus, it's responsibility to our governors, our senators, our assembly people, our mayor, our religious community, our civic leaders, our people, period, all of us. We have got to do this. These are three things I'm always preaching to people. And the acronym is OSF. Organize, strategize, mobilize. Tonight, I leave you with this. Peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the Father above, sweep over our spirits forever, I pray and fathomless billows of love. Peace. All right, if you have a candle, light it up. If you have your cell phone, light it up. Put your flashlights on. Put your hands in the sky. Put those lights on, because our lights in this crowd need to burn brighter and harder than those torches in Virginia that night. There we go. Now it's important that we remember the victims. So raise your hands, raise those lights up to the sky. Close your eyes if you wish. Lieutenant H.J. Cullen, 48, Midlothian, Virginia. He was a 1994 graduate of the Virginia State Police Academy and first joined the State Police Aviation Unit in 1999. He is survived by his wife and two sons. Trooper, Pilot Burke, M.M. Bates of Quinton, Virginia. Bates would have turned 41 on yesterday, the state police say in a statement. He graduated from the Virginia State Police Academy in August 2004 and transferred to the aviation unit as a trooper, pilot, in July. He is survived by his wife, a son, and a daughter. Lieutenant Cullen was a highly respected professional aviator and trooper pilot. Bates was a welcome addition to the aviation unit. After a distinguished assignment as a special agent with our Bureau of Criminal Investigation, their deaths are a tremendous loss to the agency and to the Commonwealth. Heather D. Heyer. 32, of Charlottesville, Virginia. She was a legal assistant at Miller Law Group, PC. Grew up in Charlottesville, and after the election last year, she posted a message on her Facebook page that said, if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. If you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. If you're not outraged, then you're not paying attention. If you're not outraged, then you're not paying attention. If you're not outraged, then you're not paying attention. If you're not outraged, then you're not paying attention. 19 other pedestrians were injured in the crash, and 14 other people were injured as white supremacists and counter-protesters clashed. And tonight, we honor them. Not just with our lights, not just with our presence, but with our commitment to do things differently. With our commitment to live differently, to live better, to love better. To get involved more than we have ever gotten involved before. To not turn a cheek. To not just share on Facebook. To not just to cry, but to take action. To not just to cry, but to take action. To not 
just to cry, but to take action. And now, a moment of silence. City, give me a loud roar! Yeah. All right, Jersey City, put your hands together for our mayor, Stephen Fulton.